Well, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Camille Manning Broom, President and CEO of the Center for Planning Excellence. And this is my colleague. Joni Hammonds. And Joni's the um, Implementation and Design Director. Um, we are so grateful for you to join us today and, and of your interest in CPEX and the work that we do. Um, I'd like to tell you a little bit about our organization and our history, and then turn it over to Joni to talk to you more about this particular role um, that we're hiring and what you would be doing uh, as a, a planner, landscape designer on our team and the kind of projects that you would be um, working on. And then we'll open it up for Q&A. You can put your questions in the chat. Uh, they are anonymous and we will answer those. And so uh, we we really look forward to being able to converse more with you, perhaps through an interview process. Uh, it's a great time to be a planner and a, a, a landscape designer or policy person in Louisiana, because there is so many opportunities uh, that we see as an organization for our communities in the future. Um, but all of those are, um, you know, compounded by and by the the challenges that we face. And so, uh, at CPEX, we we really are focused on working with our communities to make sure that they uh, have the data, they have the capacity, they have the technical assistance uh, to think beyond today and what the future could look like, and then really helping through a transparent process how you get there. And we do that in a number of ways. We work at all scales. So for us, it's really, really critical. Our bread and butter is our community planning work. Um, the community planning work is really what grounds us and helps us have a larger amount of impact on the ground and communities and, and, and being able to change things that really matter for people and enhance our quality of life. Uh, we've worked in over 50 communities since our founding in 2006, and um, we've done a number of different types of planning in those of communities. Um, we also really want to focus on uh, building long-term relationships because we don't want to be in and out. Our mission is to um, set the table, bring champions and community voices around a table to create a holistic vision for the future. And then through planning and the power of planning, develop a roadmap on how to get there through thinking strategically around land use, housing, economic development, transit options, uh, open space and, and stormwater management, all the, the things that uh, we really need to make sure are intertwined so that our communities can be healthy and resilient. We, in addition to working at the community level on whether it's a neighborhood plan, a corridor plan, or a, a larger master plan, uh, we also stay on board with a lot of communities to help with implementation. And that could be in rewriting their codes to um, follow up and make sure that plan gets implemented through the policies that uh, direct and design uh, or guide growth and development. Um, and then also, you know, helping fulfill different programmatic components of that plan and making sure it gets implemented. The, the, what we learn at the local level really allows us to have a, a larger understanding so that we can also help transform state policy work. We have a number of initiatives and a, a great, uh, um, I guess, portfolio of work that we do at the state level where we're, we're moving on some very transformative things uh, from developing in partnership with uh, the commissioner and the, the division of administration and the governor, a office of planning for the first time in Louisiana to, to really be able to create a um, coordinated effort from the state uh, to think about and respond and, and support local communities as they grapple with a lot of the challenges that we have around uh, climate change policy um, and uh, health and, and, and inequities. Uh, in addition, we've been leading uh, work at the state level for an a whole of government approach to addressing climate change and uh, working with our chief resilience officer and the state agencies and resilience liaisons and, and really thinking strategically about 
how climate change uh, and our, our vulnerabilities are going to impact the mission of our organizations and, and how these how state agencies are going to have to also have a whole of government approach and adapt to these these changing conditions. And so uh, we're also part of large regional networks of nonprofits and, and um, really a, in a collaborative way, have a lot of partners where we're um, strategizing together. We are uh, seeking resources together and we are working on a number of, of kind of big um, policy and um advocacy efforts together. So it's an exciting time. Uh, there's obviously, you know, lots of oppor opportunities with the Infrastructure and Investment and Jobs Act and the Inflation Reduction Act, where CPEX wants to play a highly supportive role so that our communities can be competitive. They've got a pipeline of projects and they can draw down these resources that are, you know, once in a lifetime opportunities to really transform our infrastructure, uh, our critical infrastructure, uh, and, and therefore, you know, thinking differently about the future in our community. So with that, I'm, I'm now going to turn it to Joni, who um, will be the, the leader and uh, manager of, of this work that we're going to be talking about and um, the people, the person or people that that we will be hiring, uh, we'll be working under her direction. And, and I can't tell you how uh, what an opportunity in itself that is, um, because Joni has brought so much um, thought leadership, but just critical thinking skills and really in intentional, thoughtful um, practices to the work at CPAX and it has enhanced our services and, and our ability to help our community. So I'm excited to introduce you to Joni. Sorry, Joni. Uh, but but Joni can now tell you a little bit more about the position and the role. Yeah, thanks so much, Camille. Um, and thanks to everybody for joining. It's, it's good to see some familiar names on the participant list, but also some new ones. Um, so happy to be here talking to y'all today. Um, like Camille mentioned, my name is Joni Hammonds and my uh, background is in landscape architecture. I'm involved in um, kind of a range of planning and uh, policy initiatives here at CPEX. Um, and I think Camille did a great job of, of really portraying the breadth of the kinds of projects that CPEX leads. Um, and one of the beauties, I think, of working um, in a nonprofit, but with a design background, is that you sort of get to um, explore, kind of dip your toes in lots of different things that are maybe not um, part of your training in school, but are absolutely related to the implementation and kind of big picture um, goals of, of design, especially in Louisiana communities. Um, and so... I am a graduate of LSU's landscape architecture program and was in private practice before I came to CPEX and was really looking for more of a, a mission-driven focus for to kind of harness the, the skills and um, uh, and everything that I learned in school. And so it's I'm from Louisiana and really am invested in um, making Louisiana a more livable, resilient, equitable place, as you kind of see on the slide. And so um, that's a big part of the why for me, why I ended up in landscape architecture and design and um, how I ended up at CPEX. And so uh, I'm really excited to share a little bit about the the design landscape designer opening that we have here to really bring some of some more of that design background to the planning um, and policy projects that we have here at CPEX. Um, so a little bit about the role. I'm sure that if you are on this webinar, you've probably already seen the job description. So I'm not going to do um, a read through of everything there, but I do recommend that you check it out if you haven't already. Um, but the designer function within the CPEX team is a really important one. Um, it's so important that we're able to communicate the kinds of planning recommendations that we make to the communities we work in, being able to visualize those changes, those recommendations is so important, um, especially because not everyone has a background in design and it's really difficult for most folks to, you know, look at a, um, read a list of recommendations and really understand how that can, how that has the, the potential to transform their place, the place that they love and care about. And so, um, we are looking for designers to join our team and plug into lots of the projects that we have going on at CPEX now. Um, we there's a, a especially a need for for designers on a lot of the kind of rural complete streets work that we do. We're involved in lots of uh, more rural parishes in Louisiana, 
um, looking for um, safety and kind of uh, transportation mobility improvements in those places, especially related to uh, promoting walkability, bikeability, and and really helping Louis- rural Louisiana places um, instill you know a sense of place that feels right there and that celebrates the people and the, the kind of character of their community, but also promote safety and accessibility. Um, sort of related to that, we've recently done uh, a pocket park plan for Ville Platte and a downtown plan for Opelousa, just to kind of give you a sense of some of the more rural Louisiana work that we've we've been doing. Um, and so, of course, there's an obvious need for a, a design capacity in those, in those plans to do some conceptual site design, again, helping places kind of think about what, uh, you know, this this sort of neglected piece of of property that's in the middle of the city could be? How could it be transformed from this sort of eyesore to a real community amenity? And so we're looking for folks with a lot of imagination and and passion for communities in Louisiana who are really looking for an opportunity to use those design skills um, in transforming Louisiana communities. Um, And so I guess on a more kind of the technical side of things, we are really looking for folks with backgrounds in um, landscape design and architecture and urban design, um, really with spatial kind of awareness and spatial skills. Uh, And so that would include doing some, um, again, conceptual site planning, some looking at streetscape sections and making recommendations, you know, what could fit within the street section within the right of way to really um, improve this into a public amenity, this road into a public amenity. Um, So, Ideally, um, the the person or people who are in this role would have um, some experience um, and knowledge of design standards, um, whether we're talking about streetscapes or, um, you know, site design or also community planning principles. Um, Those are all really important in this role. like, again, like Camille mentioned, uh, a lot of CPEX does a whole lot of (laughs) of types of things. And so if you took a little while to, to, um, scroll around our website, you probably saw projects related to um, uh, resilience and mm-hmm. projects related to health and equity and promoting that those principles in community design. And so um, I think that there's an opportunity for the, the folks in this role to really kind of connect the dots between how design is related to all of those other principles and priorities for Louisiana that we know are really important. Um, Design does play a critical role in in realizing that. And so um, I say that because the, this person won't be working sort of on an Island, you know, I think uh, there's an opportunity for the designers on our team to be integrated into a whole breadth of, um, of different types of projects. And so if you have some kind of an interest in policy, you know, we can also find ways to plug you into that and give you exposure um, to policy, some of the policy work that we're doing, same for planning. And so we're a really multidisciplinary kind of team um, and really integrated. And so um, communication is important and being able to sort of work with the rest of the team and, and uh, find ways to highlight your skills. Um, I think I think that about covers the highlights of the the job description. Um, again, I would recommend for those of you who haven't looked at it to go and check it out on our website, but we would really love to use this time. We kind of just wanted to show our faces and give you um, a sense of what the position will be, but we'd love to use this time to answer any uh, questions that, that you might have about the position or the team or anything about CPEX. Yeah. And so you can just put your questions in the chat. And, and so, um, but Joni, I'd like to ask you what, um, what are you most, what's, what next year, what project are you most excited about working on? I think I'm excited about um, working on implementation of some of these uh, mobility kind of plans that focus plans that we've been doing in Louisiana communities. Um, really bringing plans to life is something that I, I think is super exciting and um, so important for kind of promoting good planning in Louisiana, you know, helping folks to see the fruits of the plan. And so we've um, recently, uh, our team is working on implementation in um, Opelousas, where, like I mentioned, that we worked on a, a downtown master plan that we finished up last year. And so we're working now on implementation, the beginnings of implementation of that plan. And so um, really reimagining what some of the vacant buildings in the downtown could be and how this could be transformed into assets. Um, and so I'm really excited about that. Uh, the small town work really, really motivates me. And um, 
I'm from a small town in Louisiana, so I really have a heart for the needs of those smaller towns that frankly don't have the resources to do a lot of that work. And so being um, being able to provide those through um, a nonprofit like CPEX is really impactful. Yeah. No, I, um, I'm i excited about that too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's really great. So are there any questions? And I see I've got a text of a question. All right. If there aren't any, this might be a uh, much other oh, spot. Okay. Would you be open to applicants from out of state? The work sounds great, but I'm based in Boston and not able to relocate. Um, you know, I think it's um, for this particular position, it's really critical that the person is in, in Louisiana um, because it, it will be a role where you're you're in the communities and you're working closely with Joni and the rest of the team. And so, um, but but I want but I want to say to you, um, still apply and you know do an interview because although we are advertising and, and conducting this webinar for a very particular designer position um, that's going to be you know working under Joni's leadership. Um, there are other possibilities and opportunities available for planner designer positions at CPEX. And we, we really want to, you know, um, build out a big team. And, and so I just encourage you to still apply. Yeah. Thank you. So when do we want to fill this position? Um, as soon as possible. And like I said, you know, it, it, it could be one position. It could be three positions where we're really, um, interested in growing the team and especially growing in the, the team in areas of um, implementation and design. And so we, we're, we're really, you know, it's, it's exciting because in our rural communities where we are doing a lot of work, we are on the ground being able to design crosswalks and street improvements. And, um, you know, the sky is the limit. There, there's so much opportunity and, and we need to, you know, really build up a team that um, is able to move into 2023 with us where we've, we've got a, a lot of work and we have a lot of work right now. So um, the, I think, Joni, your aim, though, is to have this position filled in the next month. I think that's right. Yeah. And so yeah. We, have, we have started to have a few interviews for this position um, and would also love to interview anyone from this webinar who is interested okay. and, and submits their materials. And so, um, yeah, yeah, soon, yeah, the sooner the better. <laughs> Um, currently, yes. Okay, so out of state, um, Louisiana resident, currently a student at LSU. I understand how critical it is to know about the culture of Louisiana for this position. So what do you think would be the best way to get more familiar with Louisiana as a designer? Um, work with us in our communities. Um, you know, it's, we really try to get embedded. We in the communities. So when we do public outreach and we do meetings, we, we are part of festivals. Uh, we, we really engage and, um, understand the community values. And so, and in every, every community that we work in, it's, there are many differences. And so the best way to be able to respond with your expertise and support the planning effort is to, listen and get integrated with uh, the culture in that particular place. And so uh, I think back to, you know, all the communities where we've worked and none of those plans are the same. None of those experiences are the same. They're all unique. They're all interesting. Um, and, you know, our job is really as a mission organization is to support that community in the best possible way to move towards a vision that they want to see. And so we get to be the facilitators and, and listen and learn and understand and then help them achieve their vision. And so there's no way to learn more about Louisiana communities than, than that particular experience, being on the ground, talking with okay. members of the community. Yeah. And I would add that even though you're still a student, um, there are so many opportunities to do that. Uh, just kind of getting out and seeing different parts of the state. I think it's really easy whenever you're a, a student at a university to kind of get stuck in the bubble of LSU. But um, I would encourage you to go out and 
you know, immerse yourself in, in different Louisiana communities, whether it's now is festival season in Louisiana. So get out and experience some of those. Um, but I, I did also want to say that we're also open to intern applications. If you would like to get some of that experience while you're still a student, um, we are absolutely open to that. Great. Yes. Yeah, so um, for the um, interview, you you need to follow the instructions on the job description mm -hmm. and submit applications to be submitted resume cover letter or portfolio to Sydney Young, S Young, Y O U N G, at CPEX, C P E X dot org with the subject line designer application. And so um, that's how you'll submit. Okay. Is there anything else? Everyone, I'm so glad that you all attended. We're grateful for your interest. We're grateful for uh, your work in, in the fields of planning and landscape architecture, or, or landscape architecture, policy, wherever your background comes from. Um, we definitely need more of it in Louisiana. We want to make sure we support um, we support those positions here. You can see this is our team. Um, we're growing. We've got a great group of individuals who are dedicated to Louisiana. We are Louisiana focused. Um, and, you know, we've, we've got a ferocious and um, very dedicated uh, team that is mission driven to improving the quality of life throughout Louisiana communities through the power of planning. And, and if you are so inclined, please uh, submit your resume, Joni or I or, or other members of the team would love to talk to you. Yeah, that speaks okay. to you. Please submit your, your resume and portfolio. So looking forward to hearing from you. All right, everyone have a wonderful day. Bye. Bye.